Earlier this week, more than 30 members of Congress signed a letter demanding an investigation into tours of the Capitol building that were given just a day before last week's attack. New Jersey Congresswoman Mikey Sherrill first sounded the alarm about these tours on January 5th, the day before the riot. CBS News' Alice Gaynor spoke with the Congresswoman Sherrill about what she saw in the building. Are you able to identify those members of Congress who you saw giving tours on January 5th? You know, I spoke to um, some investigators about that, but I'm not talking about that publicly because it now is under investigation. <laughs> what did you see in regards to those tours that set off alarm bells for you? You know, just to give you a sense of it, I was just talking to a friend of mine, Ben McAdams, um, who's a congressman from Utah, and he was telling me that he, he was taking his daughter, um, who is my daughter's age, and my daughter, and he was taking them over to the Capitol before Christmas to show them the Capitol. And the security guard stopped him and said, sir, who are you? And he explained. And who are these, you know, kids? And he explained that he said, no visitors. You can't be here. Even with his daughter and my daughter. You know, the, he said, if it was just you, but those two can't be here. So he stopped them and said they couldn't tour the Capitol. So fast forward to January 5th. The day before we had a violent attack on the Capitol, um, there were groups, you know, a, a group of 10 to 15 people inside the Capitol complex. The Capitol had been basically a ghost town since about March. I could go from my office to the tunnel and see nobody in Longworth. Um, so that was really jarring the day before the attack on the Capitol. And then when I began to hear the reports that there were military people involved, um, veterans involved in the group that attacked the Capitol, that there were police involved in the group that attacked, and how organized it was, and that they knew to target certain members' offices, um, that group that was wandering around that should not have been in the Capitol, um, I began to con be concerned. It, it seemed as if they were gathering intelligence then for the next day. And it was so odd to see them there that my chief called the sergeant at arms to find out what this group was doing. And what were they wearing? Was there anything they were wearing that stood out to you? And you mentioned they were there to gather intelligence. Why do you think that that's what they were doing? Well, I think because they did seem part of the larger group. We had been concerned that uh, groups like the Proud Boys and the Boogaloo Boys, the violent extremists, were coming into town. Um, we had started to see people around the Capitol. So, you know, around the Capitol, you often see people in suits. Um, these, these were often more people casually dressed. You saw that they were starting to gather. And then inside the Capitol complex, it was a group of, of people um, with just looked like they supported the president's, uh, the president MAGA hats and, and Trump um, things and, and sort of were part of the larger groups that were there at the behest of the president. You are both a witness to and, uh, and a requester of, of this investigation, so I know it's limited what you can say. And without prejudging how this is going to turn out, if indeed one of your colleagues or several of your colleagues knowingly or unknowingly gave reconnaissance tours to insurrectionists, what should happen to those colleagues? Well, I think that's something that really has to be investigated um, because there is a possibility that they did not realize what some of these groups were doing, that they were groups of constituents and they, they should not have brought them into the Capitol complex. In fact, um, they had received, many of the members had received a security brief. On January 3rd, the Sergeant-at-Arms reposted for the new Congress the information that there were no tours allowed, even tours given by members. So they should not have been in there. However, is it a difference between alerting members to security problems and their, what security problems their incursions caused, or is it a problem of them actively helping these groups? And, and that's what we need to investigate. And if we have members of Congress that are act, you know, that are giving comfort and aid to insurrectionists, then they can't serve in our government. They cannot serve in the Congress of the United States. And I know the Sergeant at Arms has stepped down. Uh, are, are you confident in the multiple agencies that are taking up the investigation that you request? So I have confidence um, in some of the, the agencies that the Sergeant at Arms, the Capitol Police are going through a reorganization and are focused in large part not only on what just happened, but also on the coming inauguration and the security around the Capitol at that time, which has been taken over or will be taken over 
in the next day or two by the Secret Service. I believe that transfer has already occurred. I'd have to confirm that. Um, uh, yes. Uh, Congressman, how many um, how many lawmakers did you see leading these tours? Can you say whether they were Republicans or Democrats? And can you specify, please, who who is investigating? Is this the Capitol Police and the Sergeants at Arms, or? So I I don't want to specify who they were, um, since it is an ongoing investigation, and um, I. Um, I have um, spoken to, to people at the FBI about this, and they'd love to ask about this. And it was more than one member of Congress? I, I don't really want to okay. get into who it was okay. at this time. Did you actually speak with those people on your own after you saw this? No, I did not speak with them at the time. I noted it. I thought it was odd. I called the Sergeant Arms. It was really when we were attacked in the Capitol and when we saw the strategic planning and when we saw that certain members' offices were targeted and found very quickly, and they seemed to have an understanding of that I began to be very concerned that that group that should not have been in the Capitol, um, that seemed odd and seemed to be kind of roaming around, um, was tied to that, to that attack and some of the intelligence that they had. So, so you mentioned the FBI is now looking at this. Beyond that, are you concerned that some of the agencies that seem to have failed here are in some sense investigating themselves? Well, I think part of what myself and over 30 members of my colleagues have asked when we asked for an investigation into this, in part what we asked for were some of the procedures in place that day. Because part of the investigation, I think, also has to involve an understanding of how we prevent this kind of thing from happening and why did it happen. Congresswoman Cheryl says she has already spoken to the FBI and would also not say how many members were giving tours. The acting House and Senate Sergeant at Arms and the Capitol Police did not return a request for comment for more information on the Capitol attacks and security preparations for Inauguration Day next week. You can go to our website, cbsnewyork.com.